Hello again everyone. In this video we'll be making fluorescent crystals from the rare earth metal terbium. These crystals unfortunately are not the persistent glow-in-the-dark crystals. However, they do glow very bright under UV. To begin, we will need about 4 grams of terbium metal. Mine was donated by KimKipDepot.com. And you'll also need some dilute sulfuric acid. Here's a closer look at the tiberium metal. It is a silvery white rare earth metal that is supposed to be malleable. I didn't find it to be all that malleable. Could be that I'm just weak. However, take the terbarium metal and using some tongs or tweezers, place it in dilute sulfuric acid. It will immediately begin giving off large amounts of hydrogen gas. You might think that the sulfuric acid would take care of this 4 grams in no time at all. However, it took about 2 days for it to fully dissolve. I found that it would build up a protective layer after being still for several minutes. I would then have to disturb it with a glass rod which would cause the protective layer to flake off and then the reaction could continue. Terbium sulfate is not very soluble in water, so after the 4 grams dissolved, I was left with a white powder on the bottom of my beaker. You could boil it down for max yield if you like. Either way, you can remove the liquid by decanting it off. You'll be left with a white powder that turns gray if left out. Now take this powder and place it in a glass or ceramic evaporation dish. Terbium sulfate does not appear to be all that dangerous. However, it is a skin and eye irritant, so I don't recommend getting any on you. Once all the material is in the dish, place it in a lab oven at about 200 degrees C. As it dries, it will go from a light gray color to a pure white color. Heating it to this temperature also appears to cause some small amount to decompose, although this could also be the sulfuric acid and water coming off. Either way, do this under a fume hood or outside. After several minutes, the compound will be dry. Once it is cooled, you can turn off the lights and grab a black light. The crystals will give off an intense green color in the black light. Since the dry compound is hygroscopic, you will need to place it in an airtight container for long-term storage. Seeing a green fluorescent substance is nothing new. You can buy all kinds of products that fluoresce in all sorts of colors. However, there's something satisfying about making your own glow compounds. Thanks for watching.